Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying an assortment of cookies made by Rustic Bakery. Rustic Bakery is located in Petaluma, California. We have the vanilla, the Hanukkah themed vanilla cookies, and then we have eggnog. This was peppermint. These were $7.99 a box at the Fresh Market. We've actually reviewed, uh, done a review in the past of Rustic Bakery of their gingerbread cookies. And, and the uh, tile. If you've ever seen the tile, that yes. was one of Tammy's favorites. Yes, and so um, uh, those, they had those again at the Fresh Market. And so they had these um, Hanukkah themed one themed ones, but then they also, if you didn't want the Hanukkah themed, they have snowflakes, but they're the same flavor. Yeah. So you could get vanilla snowflakes or vanilla Hanukkah. And I really like the Hanukkah themed box. So I got the Hanukkah themed it's box. It's just the, what is it, a star, David? I'm not... It's just a star. Yeah. So, I mean, they're just really cute cookies. Um, so you don't have to be Jewish to enjoy the Hanukkah cookies. Uh, it says these cookies are made with Madagascar vanilla. Um, they have a, they're a thin, cr a delicate, thin, crisp cookie, freshly baked in a small batches with all natural ingredients. These will make the eight crazy nights even sweeter. There's um, not just stars in there. Oh, really? Oh. Like a house? Oh, that's cool. So now I'm curious what else is in there. Um, it says there's five servings in the container, six cookies are 120 calories, and it's rusticbakery.com. I'm expecting a dreidel in here somewhere. I know the dreidel song. Um, you know where I learned the dreidel song? Just a little. Do you know where I learned the oh, dreidel yeah. song? You do? Yeah. I only see those two things, the star and the house. On Pee Wee's Christmas, Pee Wee Herman, Pee Wee's Christmas special. They sang the dreidel song, and uh, it's, uh, I like it, but that's where I learned the dreidel song, and uh, so anyway, just a little bit of... I also think it's funny what he says at the beginning. What? For all our Jewish kids, and then they do this one little thing, because the rest of it's Christmas, Santa Claus, you know. Santa Claus, so this is the Jewish part. Yeah, he literally says that. <laughs> That tastes like, like a really good shortbread cookie, and it's got a crispness to it. I bet you that's not a house. I'm probably insulting all the Jewish people out there. It's probably some um, religious symbol of some kind that holds that something sacred. That is a dreidel. You're looking at it wrong. Oh, it's upside down. It's upside down. That well, is, no, a is a dreidel. Yes. I, I well, see, not all of them have the little thing. Yeah, you were looking at it upside down. See, it has the little the thing on the I top, see. the handle, yeah. and you twist that's it. That's broken off of most of them. So, oh, yeah. I thought that was the sidewalk yep. walking up to the house. No, that's the dreidel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So there well, we go. I'm glad you figured that out. Okay. These are better than the, those Danish butter cookies. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, you get a buttery or flavor. Yes. You get a little touch of salt to them. That, yeah, yes. That's really good. That is an excellent cookie. Excellent cookie. So that just tells me if you don't want the Hanukkah thing one, if you want the snow yeah, snow like thing, you're going to love those. Yeah, they're very, if you like a shortbread. And that is better than the Danish shortbread. You know what I like about them? Get the them. Tam. They're, they're thin, uh -huh. so they get a good crispness to it. Those Danish cookies you get in the tin are kind of thick. And yeah. they're almost too much at one time to, to, to chew through. Yeah. Yeah, their boxes are well sealed. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they don't want anybody getting in the late. Well, maybe. that's good. Okay. Well, they are they are shipping them all the way from California. Um, well, I guess they're not shipping them. They're trucking them. They're trucking them. Uh, these are eggnog. Eggnog and white chocolate cookies. I don't know what the, I don't Five know cookies, 110 calories. This delicious way to celebrate the flavors. This is a delicious way to celebrate the flavors of the holiday with our eggnog cookies. A mixture of the flavors of eggnog along with white chocolate chips and nutmeg create a delicate, thin, crisp cookie. Freshly baked in small batches with all natural ingredients, these are sure to win over your holiday guests. I don't know. You want the whole thing. I love it that... First of all, it's the same texture as the, as the other one, so it's a really nice, crisp cookie. Um, you get the butteriness from it, but you get that rich eggnog flavor. It really it, does which taste is like eggnog. amazing that they can get the richness of eggnog, because you can put spices in anything. Um, you can. But it actually tastes like it's a creamy eggnoggy kind of flavor. And... That's awesome, and it's got a little touch of salt to it. I can't say that I... 
I got a lot of flavor from the white chocolate. No. But I, I definitely get the texture, the denseness of those chips in there. I think the white and chocolate. And I'm sure it adds sweetness. I'm sure the white chocolate's what's giving me that creaminess mm -hmm. from it. That nutmeg, those are those are delicious. That's cookies. excellent cookies. Very, very good. If you like eggnog, go for them. Okay. Hey, that'd be cheaper than buying, I mean, that'd be less calories than buying eggnog. You know what? Kevin's right, because eggnog is like the worst thing you can oh, drink. Oh, it's full of fat. It's the Because it's, I mean, so for high in calories. You, five of these is only 110 yeah. calories. Get your this little eggnog. This is your way of getting your eggnog. Yeah. Without yeah. getting your eggnog. Out of the two. Um... I could eat the, the regular ones year round. Mm -hmm. The eggnog ones I would get tired of after a while. Okay. That's yeah. what I was wondering. I mean, they're very good, but I would get sick of drinking eggnog after Because I like the Hanukkah oh, yeah, vanilla cookies. The vanilla cookies are awesome. Yeah. Even though the eggnog are perfect, they did a really good job with them. It's not a all the time. It every, can't beat every those, month those uh, other ones. These are peppermint, peppermint and dark chocolate. They look dark. And if you're wondering uh, wow. if the Fresh Market, if you're looking for these, they're at the front near the checkout. Oh, they're at not, least hours. Yeah, they're not. That's where they always put the seasonal stuff because they want you to see it when you get in line. Uh, so they put them at the checkout. Be good for goodness sake as someone might treat you to these festive peppermint cookies. Delicately flavored with peppermint and dark chocolate to create a thin and crisp cookie. Five cookies are 100 calories. <laughs> They're a little bit tinier than the eggnog ones are. Mm-hmm. But not a lot. That's a really nice flavor. I was worried about the dark chocolate mm -hmm. and or the peppermint being like too pasty, but it's not. That's a really good, that's like a really good mix of both. It is, and I love the, the when you hit those dense chips in there. Mm -hmm. I love it when you get those. Yeah, and again, you get a little hit of salt in there too. I like anything sweet with a touch of salt. Pretty much anything. It tastes like a candy cane mm -hmm. with dark chocolate. Yeah, like you dipped it in chocolate. Mm -hmm. But the dark chocolate's not really bitter dark chocolate. It's got some bitterness to it, but it's not bitter bitter. wonder why a company has never come up with chocolate dipped uh, candy canes and salt. Maybe it just doesn't work. Maybe it doesn't stick to yeah, it. Yeah, maybe it doesn't work well as far as staying with it. Or we bite into it and it all falls off. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Probably yeah. would. Now, they could have made the little packages. Ooh, that's an idea. You know, like the little uh, cheese, uh, the little breadsticks, the, the cheese. And oh, stuff like yeah, that. and you dip it in there. They can make a little thing of candy canes and a little thing of chocolate. Chocolate, dip it, dip it in there, a snack. Yeah, you could. They could. <laughs> These are nice. Those too. are good. Out of the three, that's my third place. Just because it's it's really not something I'd want to eat all the time. You, Yeah, you would have to really, really, really be a fan of dark chocolate and candy cane. And that's, yeah, that's not an everyday mm -hmm. flavor. And that's you, not a knock on the flavor. It's no, excellent. It's, it's really very, good. The, yeah, it's very, very well But done. out of the three. Out of the three, <laughs> I'm picking the vanilla cookies. I'm still picking the eggnog, even though that would not be a year-round thing. Mm -hmm. I'm still picking those because that's my favorite flavor here. They they are that all three of them. Any yeah, of there's them. Nothing yeah, the, I would turn down. yeah. None of them would I turn down. I think yeah. these. Yeah, your guests, if you give them to guests, are going to be uh, happy with them. Although I think these are small boxes. I think they're meant for you to just enjoy it. Yeah, and they're kind of expensive for for a party cookie. Yeah, for the I amount think, you get. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. I think these are mom and dad cookies. Yeah, not yeah, for the kids. Not don't give them the kids. Heck with the kids. <laughs> so, kids don't need this. No. Buy them cheap cookies. <laughs> so, I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.